morning children welcome to tapushi educational tutorial student i hope you watch the atomic structure part number 3 for your better understanding before you go ahead now in this part or in this video i going to explain about the concept of discovery of electrons and cathode ray okay student so discovery of electron and cathode ray is very important because electron proton neutrons are the sub atomic particles the previous it's not well known about the near the scientists but the curiosity of atomic models the scientists find out one by one the sub atomic particles the one of the most nobel prize owner j j thompson his cathode ray experiment the explain the characteristics or properties of the electrons so first of all we need to understand what was his contribution to discover or to find out the electrons let's start student the electron was discovered by sir j j thompson 1897 during a detailed study of cathode rays in his discharge tube experiment so before we discuss about the experiment of the j j thompson we little about take the advent take the concept about the discharge tube for actual discharge tube discharge tube is a cylindrical glass tube about 60 cm long in which electric current can pass through gases under the very low pressure very low pressure okay student and the common example of the discharge tube are x ray tube cfl bulb tv electric tube light these are the common example that you most probably find your homes and the lab okay now here i given a picture it is indicate the discharge tube okay so what was the j j thompson experiment before the j j thompson start his experiment the william crookes a british scientist in 1879 discovered that gases are ordinary poor conductor of electricity even when electric potential of about 10000 volt was applied but gases start conducting electricity when the pressure inside the discharge tube reduces gradually not a sudden just gradually or slowly reduce the pressure then it conduct the electricity now student we going to explain the experiment conducted by j j thompson one of the base scientists he conduct a cathode ray experiment 
JJ Thompson connected the electrodes of discharge tube to a source of high voltage. High voltage. Okay, student. High voltage means not a not the amount of 200 or 300 voltage. It is near about 10,000 volt. You may join. Okay. And this discharge tube, this discharge tube, which produces that cathode ray. An introduction coil or any other source of the high voltage was used for this purpose. This discharge tube was attached to vacuum pump, vacuum pump through which air pressure was reduced. Thereafter, the tube filled with air or some other gas and 10,000 volt potential was applied on its taking normal pressure. We already know that the one atmospheric pressure that means the 760 millimeter of mercury. Being poor conductor of electricity, no current flow to wear even when a high voltage 10,000 volt was applied through it. When the air pressure was reduced to near about 0 0.3 times 1 millimeter, that means 0 0.3 times 0 0.01 millimeter of Hg mercury by using the vacuum pump, due to which the electricity started flow. As the result, the tube started glowing. That means in negative portion, this cathode plate and it emitted the electron, that means cathode ray. And this ray passes through, passes through the discharge tube and in here it strike and it became glow that means the friend Guinness light called the fluorescence which occurs due to the collision of the individual ray the wall of the tube this ray are called the cathode ray this ray nothing it is the cathode ray okay student so after his experiment he gives some properties of the cathode ray okay so next video i will explain one by one the properties of the cathode ray thank you student for watching so please subscribe my channel and share with your friend if you need to improve my video classes then please comment on my video okay again thank you see you next part